My family name was Ojuku, but we changed it after they attacked us in Asaba. Actress Norit. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A popular Nigerian actress, Stella Damasus, has revealed some details regarding her family's history and why her son name got changed from Ojuku to Damasus. Stella made her revelations during the recent interview with Ebuka on Channels TV. Wow. <laughs> we all used to be a fan of calling this um, particular lady. I don't know about the people who didn't know how, but she was the star of our time then, just like Genevieve, Amatula, and, you know, the rest of them that, you know, you hardly see feature in movies anymore. You know, then we used to call her Stella Damascus. Sincerely. It was even recently that, you know, that she came out and she was like, I don't want to ruin your, your childhood, whatever. But please, my name is not even um, Damascus. There is no C in my surname. It's Stella Damascus. And people were like, please, auntie, just leave it like that for us. <laughs> you know, Nigerians, you can be funny. So, back to the news. Her name was actually Ojuku. And she changed it when, I mean, they changed it when she was attacked. I mean, they were attacked. That's wow. That, is, that shows the prejudice we have in this country. See, a lot of tribalism resides in all of us. Let us stop pretending like, you know, these things do not happen. A lot of us, if you are given the opportunity to decide who we we'll work with, you are going to be free that we we'll all pick people from our different tribes. That is just the truth. And it is time to change that narrative. Yes. It is change. Why do you change it? Because you don't, I don't know about you, but me, I want to travel the world though. There will be time you are not going to be around the other tribal circle. Will you still want to, how do you want others to see you then? Will you want them to have this prejudice against you because you're not from the tribe? It is time for us to wake up. And the thing is, if we do not change the narrative now, we keep passing it like that to generations and they keep having problems. You see a child who was born who is supposed to be, you see children now, when they are born, they, there's nothing like, this person is a Yoruba or Igbo, you know, it is actually the parents that start saying, don't go here, don't eat from here, it is, this is us, so it is time for us to wake up, let us, let us, let us treat our wounds, let's come out, yes, we have hurt each other, it is time to let go and move on, without this, we are not going to move forward, that is the truth, even those who are saying eh, tribalism is not good, look, if you give them opportunity, they will pick somebody from the tribesman or from the tribe or ethnic group or from the religion. It is high time for us to let go of that mentality. One day you're not going to be anywhere around the tribe. How would you want to be treated? Would you want to be treated in the manner that you treat people? Let's listen to the news in detail. Narrating the origin of her last name, Stella said many people were used to calling me Damascus, and I had to address it. Damascus is a Greek name given to my grandfather. My original last name was Ujuku, but it changed during the Civil War. My people got attacked in Asaba because some people thought we were related to a popular Nigerian general at the time. The name got changed to Damascus before I was born. That was the explanation I got. I cannot do anything about it. Okay. Well, like I said, um, 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 the, the truth about it is, the truth about it is, um, back to what I'm saying, there is so much prejudice in the land, like, there is so much. Even we that scream when we see videos of how, you know, blacks are being treated, how whites treat the blacks, and all of that. In other countries, we scream with racism, we are guilty as charged. Let us not light ourselves. Even in our various countries, the Senegal, the Cameroon, we have this thing of tribe and religion. And it is not supposed to, we have to address it. If we do not address it, it will keep going down from history to history and we keep becoming sworn enemies. Yes. It will take a long way. In fact, it takes... It takes, it starts from one family deciding, see, I don't care. I don't care what other people are saying. This is how I'm going to live my life. Whether this person is a Muslim, a Christian, I would not, I would be that kind of person. I would not care. If somebody is married a position, then so be it. I wouldn't say because my brother is around, somebody marries a position, I will give it to my brother. 
No, it is going to even it is going to even bring you problems because people will not understand. They'll be like, "Who is this person now? He keeps helping outsiders, and you know everything that you, and everything in this world. It is problem you do for people. Problem you don't do, still more problems. So, um, I think it is high time for us to come together. It is going to be difficult. This thing I'm saying has been the cause of many problems. You will see the way the Vigo, the, the Northerners will speak about the Southerners, especially the Easterners. They will be like, you know, they are doing things to us. Even the Easterners themselves, they have this, you know, prejudice. And yes, 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 it's about the civil war. But is it not time to let go? When will this war end? Do you know that the war has never ended? As far as I'm concerned, there is still more as in if you give people the opportunity if in this part of Nigeria, for instance, for instance, so people are allowed to carry arms. Do you know the damage? People will be dying very closely. They start saying, okay, you can get arms legally, but you know, you have to use it only on self-defense. Do you know how many people will die and they'll say it is self-defense? That is just the truth. That is the truth. So I think it is high time for us to stop this war. This war has not stopped. Anybody telling the war? It has not stopped. The Easterners are still against the Northerners. The Southerners are against the Easterners. A lot of things back and forth. It is time for us all to come together. Yes, we have hurt us each other. Yes, we have hurt ourselves. It is time for us to forgive and move on. Yes, it is going to solve a lot of problems. For us, it will. It will help us for, to see things from different angles. Because if I say something in your mind, it is because I am a South Easterner. That is why I'm saying it. If I say something in your mind, it is because I'm a Southwesterner. Because it is, I'm, I'm from Cross River. Because I am from um, um, Jigawa. That is why I'm saying it. That is just the truth. If I say something, oh, it is because I'm from Quara State. That is why I'm sounding like this. That is just it. People have that kind of mentality. Or oh, it's because, oh, maybe I'm a Muslim or because I'm a Christian. Meanwhile, I'm just, maybe I'm just saying it. Maybe I just have that as, a, as an opinion, nothing more. So, yes, we are not going to, you know, have um, one opinion. But it will help us to see that my opinion that is different from you does not mean you should attack me. Yes, it is high time we let this war stop. So that our children, our coming generation, they can live in peace. I'm just saying it will help a long way. It will help go a long way. That is when we start seeing problems like, one region is being attacked as our problem. That is when we should start saying, oh, this particular region is suffering from this. It is our problem generally as Nigerians. It is until we do this, hmm? that is when we are going to get forward. And of course, that is when we start extending the hand of equity. Oh, these people, they are our people. Yes, we are all Nigerians. That is when people will say, I'm just saying and thinking a lot around and I hope the suggestion find a way into the hearts of Nigerians. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.